So back when I first started film photography, one of the film stocks that I shot the most of is Kodak Color Plus. And I really like this film stock for the affordable price and you get a basic color negative film. So here are three reasons why I really like this film stock and why I think you should try it too. First reason is just that it's affordable. Kodak Color Plus is a really affordable film stock compared to others such as Porsche 800 or any of the Porsche lineup really, and any of the more professional film stocks. Even something like Ektor 100 can be a little bit more expensive, and so Kodak Color Plus is just a really great option. It's simply just a good color negative film stock. As I said before, I used to shoot this film stock a lot and I put it through my point and shoot film camera, the Canon SureShot Max. And so a lot of the photos I'm gonna be showing you are probably shot with that camera just so that you have an idea of what I shot it with. So the second reason that I really like this film stock and that I would recommend it to a lot of people is that it's not overly stylized. There's nothing that's too specific about it as far as what use case it might be meant for and the ISO 200 value is very versatile. I would say ISO 400 can be a little bit better if you're gonna be in low light and then also in really bright conditions, but ISO 200 I think is a better spot if you're generally gonna be in brighter conditions. But you can still just barely get away with it in really dark conditions as long as you have a really fast lens. So the fact that it's just not overly specific and it's a pretty generic, just solid film stock is something that allows it to be very good for beginners or really anyone that doesn't really know what situation they're going into, but they just want to shoot a roll of film. It's a really great entry point into the world of film because it's versatile and because it's a really, it's just a solid starting point because you can get an idea, start to get an idea of what you like in a film stock, and then you can kind of figure out what you want in a film stock as you start shooting film. Because then you start to know what scenarios you're going to be shooting film in, in terms of maybe if it's low light or plenty of light, as well as what cameras you're putting it through. Do you need DX encoding on the outer canister? These are all things to consider when you're choosing a film stock. And so as you continue to shoot film with something like Kodak Color Plus, it's a good starting point as you start to figure out what you want, and then you can move to other film stocks from there. And so that's why I recommend this as a good starting point, because it's a really good entryway into the world of shooting film. So my third reason just comes down to the fact that it is basically Kodak Gold, but cheaper. Now in some instances, they're gonna be the same price, and in that case, I would probably recommend Kodak Gold, uh, but Kodak Gold is gonna be a little bit more stylized of a look. So once you've shot a few rolls of Color Plus, maybe you want something even warmer than that, Kodak Gold is a really great option then. But for my shooting personally, I would pick up, pick up Kodak Gold instead if I wasn't trying to save money and if they were the same price. Have you ever shot Kodak Color Plus before? Let me know down in the comments if you would recommend it and why. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today, so have a great day and happy shooting. Mm -hmm.